a little bit more of the installation of the offensive uh, schemes and concepts as well the other side of the football, your impressions from day two of camp? Well, I think one of the things, obviously, you know, AJ, and we'll find out probably on practices 9, 10, 11, and 12, you know, about the intensity of a program. Right at, at the beginning of any training camp, everybody's excited. Everybody's enthusiastic. Uh, I like the focus. I like the, the competition that's taking place. They're paying very close attention. We're getting a lot of older guys helping a lot of younger guys. It's awesome. You know, when we got here, I guess about 18 months ago, you know, one of the Coach Davis's mantras competition, competition, competition. So to do that, you got to get depth, get depth, get depth. So he's done a great job of leading us in the recruiting battle. And it's really, when you have a camp that has the amount of competition that we have in this one, and, it, and it's really at every position, every play, every rep, their knowledge wants to grow. And, and from a coaching standpoint, you can't ask for anything else. Every single team has a completely different identity every year because whether it's in the NFL, there's there's guys that get cut, guys that get traded, guys that retire. So there's a new group of rookies coming in. And the same thing is in college. You're going to have 15 to 20 seniors pretty much leave your program every single year. And so now it's an opportunity for somebody to step up during this time of the year. Who's going to fill that leadership role? Yeah, first thing, it always starts with the defensive line and, and our scheme. I mean, those guys are the guys that set the tempo for us. They attack the line of scrimmage. And so now... Having the depth, we can play more guys, don't have to play as many snaps, especially in the, in the world of tempo now, uh, so that you know some guy, sometimes guys get stuck out there for eight or nine snaps, and you can't get them off the field because there's not a sub, they're going so fast. So now we have the ability to, almost like hockey, where you send in the next group, you know, uh, the next time it goes out, anytime you get a break. And I think you know that's going to be critical for us because they can make a huge difference. You need leaders with each of the position groups. You need somebody that's a leader of the tight ends, the running backs, the corners, and the DBs. And that's where you know those guys grow up and they kind of take a you know take the responsibility on their shoulders. Okay.